Welcome to a new vlog. I am saying hello from my newest interior addition, which is this beautiful um, roly poly chair designed by Faye Too Good for Doriada, or I think it's Italian, so I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but I will write the exact like uh, name in the description box. And yeah, I just wanted to kick off the vlog on this very sunny evening and just um yeah say hello and let you know that we have decided on the colors and they are ordered so we're still waiting for the colors to arrive and then we need to show a date with the painter and then we will paint the bedroom and also um hopefully we can order the wardrobe very soon and so we will first paint and i'm still in a bit of two minds so either we are gonna wait until it's painted to then order the wardrobe just to kind of make the decision once the room is painted i find it really difficult to make the decision with the room still being in its white color if that makes sense um but i'm really impatient at the same time so i'm unsure if i'll wait or not um but either way i'll take you along this month and yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog bye, -bye. I already have this dress in black but now I also got it in white just because I love it so much so it has pockets it's great it's not super see-through well the white one is a little bit but it's white and I would wear it with uh, my Loewe basket bag and um, I really enjoy wearing my totem uh, scarf it's like a little headpiece at the moment so i'd probably wear it like that and then i have um old cos chunky sandals from last year and i still really love them so i just pair them with it maybe i could wear like a bit more of a like feminine sandal to it but i kind of enjoy the the chunky chunky sandals with the outfit what what do you think I feel like I will be living in this outfit. It's so comfortable and so relaxed. So I'm wearing the cross uh, body bag in black. I think it's a bit hard to see, but it's just a really soft, nice leather. I am wearing like a boxy kind of short sleeve shirt, which is also from Cos, just uh, easy singlet. And then these um a little bit longer kind of 
cotton linen blend i think they also from cos and i really like uh, the longer length i just feel much more comfortable with them and i feel like they're also much more flattering and gives a bit more of like a sophisticated kind of look if that makes sense so i'm really loving this outfit i could also see it with like a long sleeve blouse and right now i'm just wearing flip-flops to head out really quickly but i think it, the the look is just it looks really cute what do you think So I don't know how people do it, but I have just spent a very long time trying to um, do my eyeliner and I'm just not very good at it. And if you have any good like eyeliner tutorials or anything like that, please send it my way because it's just it's not it, is it? It's really not. We are going to Temple for Fell today, so I'm wearing just a very easy um, long black leather jacket coat situation, a white top, long trousers, it's a bit cooler in Berlin today, and Finn is already unhappy because he knows we're about to leave. And then I will wear some sneakers with this, and um, probably a necklace, and then I will probably also take a jumper because it's really not that warm and um, yeah, just so I definitely have enough layers. And that's it. Bye-bye. board is still out as always because i feel like in summer all we're doing is ironing and yeah this is my outfit it's the cos kind of midi um skirt this cos kind of uh summer knit and i am still wearing my glasses um because my eye is still infected and we're heading out to a cafe to read a little bit and yeah just have a good time don't we finn yes <laughs> today and well it's actually a really short train ride but I wanted to be really comfy so I'm wearing my um, jogger set and sneakers
An empty room, guys. Just to give you a super, super, super quick update. Oh, hold on. Um, the first primer is on the wall. And as you can see, everything looks really bright. Well, we also don't have our uh, curtains there over here. But yeah, it looks very nice. I'm kind of happy. And um, tomorrow, I think they are going to tackle the, the darker ceiling. Guys, it is 36 degrees. <laughs> My dog is crying um, because we're about to leave for a gig um but i just wanted to quickly like sit down just for a second oh my god i'm so hot i don't know if this is the right time or if this will ever be in the vlog but so this is the first time that i've ever had like a uh, proper well that's actually not true contractors made our kitchen and um put it in so it's the second time i've worked with contractors and i have always been relatively lucky um and this time they have been absolutely amazing. They have done great, 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 great work. And they are really, really fast. So basically, because we are working with Ferro and Ball for our bedroom, um, you use a primer. So that's like one time they have to come and put the primer on. And because we chose two colors for our bedroom, um, and when you choose two colors, you have to do one day, one color. And the next day, you do the rest because uh, it just from how you it, it just needs to dry so you can't do the two colors at the same time because otherwise it will be a mess so tomorrow they are doing the final uh, coats of color and I am so so excited uh, the darker color is already on it and the darker color will also be on the on the ceiling so yeah just i'm just extremely excited and tomorrow they will do the lighter color which will be on the other three walls so um but the thing is it i think the lighter color will actually not be that uh, visible excuse me Finn, i'm trying to do something so the lighter color will not be as like visible because most of the furniture will be there Excuse me, Finis, um, I think hearing another dog bark outside and he needs to answer. But yeah, anyways, this is just a really, really short um, update on the works in the bedroom. And I am so excited to show you the final result. And I think moving everything out of the bedroom was definitely worth it. I'm really sorry about my dog crying this whole time. He's very unhappy. Um, he's not staying alone at home while we're going to a gig. He's going to uh, friends to chill there. So I really don't know why he's crying that much. But he just doesn't like us leaving the house. And he's always worried he's going to be staying behind. Which he's not. He's not, are you? So anyways, I'm really excited to show you. And obviously you will see the final results in a bit. So guys, this wall is done and you can kind of see here the contrast. This wall still needs to be done one more time, but I love the results so far. Hi everyone! 
I am in the new bedroom and I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs walking around in the background. We have Crumpet as always, um, well not as always, but we're watching Crumpet and I just thought I would sit down with you guys after hopefully showing you the whole redo and the beautiful bedroom. I am so so excited. I I've been moving around um, furniture all day today and I've taken um, a lot of pictures of the bedroom redo and yeah now I am just extremely happy with the results. I actually got a little bit emotional when I um, started unpacking like all my stuff again because the bedroom looks so beautiful now. It's such a different like vibe in here and it makes me feel like so cozy and at home and I think once the wardrobe will be installed which so there's a part of the bedroom you will notice that I haven't showed you yet and that's where the wardrobe will be and once the wardrobe is here and it's installed I will definitely make sure that I'll show it to you but I think that will be in the next vlog I totally forgot to say if you have any questions about the painting or the colors or how we chose it what kind of process we went through um definitely watch my last two vlogs i think the last one is the one where we had the um color consulting and i'm kind of like guiding through the process and then if you have any other questions um about the bedroom redo just let me know and i'm so happy to answer any of them either in the comments or in the next vlog and i hope you enjoy the the new bedroom and you like it as much as i do good morning guys so it doesn't look like much because it's still like a huge mess but we have managed to at least put all the clothing boxes into the bedroom and now we just need to kind of sort out this mess because a lot of it is stuff we are going to get rid of but some of it we are still going to keep some of it is also just bags with um, clothing hangers so it looks worse than it is and um, yeah in the background you can see um well one you can see Finn uh, and then you can see all the ironing piles because we haven't ironed uh, in like one and a half weeks or two and that's that's how it looks then but yeah that's it hello everyone I just wanted to quickly um, film a little outro from this vlog I hope it's not gonna be too chaotic of a vlog just because it's spanning over a really long time and I haven't actually done a lot of vlogging. Uh, it's mostly like documenting the um, bedroom redo and all that kind of stuff. So it, I hope you still liked it and it wasn't too boring. And I promise, I promise, I promise I will be better in, um, in August. And I will see you with the August vlog and yeah, I hope you all have a great summer and I see you soon. Bye bye.